Why do I run and why should you as well? You already know Thursdays are for interval sessions. Plan is warm up 3.5Ks, 10 times, 400 meters, and then cool down 3.5Ks. First lap done, 20 seconds left to recover, and then on to the next 400 meters. Three, two, one. Oh my God. I never liked running. Six months ago, I hated it. I didn't see the point of running because there was no straightforward enjoyment for me. It was just straight pain all the time. It wasn't like the gym where you could at least get a pump and enjoy the feeling of having a muscle full of blood. Running felt pointless. Not finished yet. Gotta get back up the hill. Let's go. Six months ago, out of nowhere, it came to my mind, it'd be cool to run a marathon one day. So I just decided to sign up for one and start training. An hour, nine minutes, 12.7 kilometers, 5.28 pace overall, average heart rate 154. I'll pop up the intervals. I was slower today, about four minutes for those 400 meter repeats. But there's only one thing to do now. Signing up forced me to get out and do the miles, put in the time and effort into those runs. Because the other option would be to fail, and failing is definitely not an option. During the first four months of that training phase, I started to slowly but surely fall in love with the process of running. And I have to be honest, at the beginning, it was also like an escape for me, running away from everyday problems, just be in the moment, not thinking about what was happening 10 minutes ago, and also just not caring about what the plan is for the day or the coming weeks. And I started to notice that the beautiful thing about running is that it's you against yourself, a battle against your mind, against your inner voice, and it has so much in common with life in general. Just enjoying a nice evening walk with the boys here. This is Kobe. He's from Romania, from the streets. He's a real bad boy. This is Elfie. He's like a little cloud. And this is Flynn, about 10 years old or so. It's those times when you have to fight the most to get those running shoes on, to get yourself out there, to get yourself up from your couch, from your bed in the morning. Those are the hardest ones. And those are the most rewarding ones. Beautiful sunrise this morning. But beyond that escape and forgetting about everyday life, there's a deeper meaning to running for me. That is that I want to see what my body is truly capable of and test the limits, what the body can really do because there are so many people out there that set new boundaries. So I want to see what that is all about, what my body can do, how far can I go. It's just a start. Let's go! Almost pulled my hamstring or something. Come here. Huh? Where's the ball? Is the ball? No? <laughs> Boom! We got it done this morning. We did 43 minutes, a bit more than 8 kilometers, 526 pace, average heart rate 141. What a run to start off this day on the countryside and so many fields and pollen and stuff that I'm allergic to. But we're still getting it done, baby. Boom! Let's go make us a coffee, get a protein shake in this body. I got a crazy sunburn yesterday. Oh my God, look at this. Ouch. But also again, when I'm outside and all these pollen flying in the air and my skin gets super irritated and just swells up and everything itches and you hear it in my nose. It's just, it's running, it's itchy, but it's not gonna stop us. Let's go. Every step, every meter, every kilometer is always a test of my own endurance, my inner strength, my mental resilience, my power of mind. And it's a test against yourself with every single run. It really does push me mentally and physically to new levels that I haven't even thought would be possible for me to achieve and to overcome.
It also taught me about leadership, setting an example, leading with the mindset of getting it done, getting out there and pushing it, becoming a better version of yourself, getting into the gym, lifting weights, running, endurance, going on the bike, just showing that we can achieve remarkable things with discipline, consistency and perseverance. 10 rounds are done. I am dripping in sweat. I'm also an idiot. It's two o'clock in the afternoon and the sky's blue, sun is out and it's freaking hot. It's like 80 degrees Fahrenheit. I don't know, 25 degrees Celsius. Woo! We did it. It wasn't as fast, but now let's go for the cool down. Three Ks or so, but let's go. I want to set an example for people around me, for my family, for my friends, that things are possible if you set your mind to it, that everyone can challenge themselves and achieve something great that they never thought would be possible before. You can do it as well. Kilometer 32. Damn, digging deep. Can't talk much. Let's go, let's keep pushing. Running is about enduring the hard times, the challenges that come along the way and that make you grow and be stronger and more powerful for every other aspect in your life. It's also a journey that I want to share with you. It's not just a journey of me against myself, other people around me to show them that you can go through hard shit and get out the other side stronger and more powerful. And that is why I run and you should as well.